Our metal car ports and RV ports are engineered for easy assembly and come in kits with 10 different painted colored options, as well as Galvalume steel. We offer 11 different pre-engineered sizes with custom sizing available. Currently, you can purchase carport or RV port kits engineered for either Arizona standards or California standards. California kits will cost slightly more as they are engineered to meet earthquake codes required by the state of California. If you live outside of these two states, you must check with your state building codes to ensure these kits can be installed in your area. To see all the carports and RV ports available, visit metalcarport.com. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Layout and Preparation Prior to assembly, it's important to properly lay out and mark out where your carport will be installed. In this example, we are laying out a four-car, six-post port with dimensions of 36 feet, 4 inches wide, 18 feet deep, and 8 feet in height. We marked out our center points for the six posts along with the outline for the two-foot wide hole. The post should be a maximum of four feet from the edges as shown here. The two center post should fall 18 feet 2 inches from the two outer post. Always ensure that your lines are properly squared. Laying out string line will help ensure your posts are properly aligned during installation. You should mark your post at the depth in which they will be installed. Footing. The width, depth, and type of the footing varies depending on your state building codes and the type of carport you select. Always consult the plans for the exact carport or RV port you purchase. There are three footing methods for this installation. Always consult an engineer and use the method that is required for your area. Standard footing requires that your posts are placed at a minimum of three feet deep all concrete used should be done in accordance with ACI standard specifications for structural concrete buildings. Case and footing with base plate. An optional base plate can be used for your footing. This method requires a rebar cage and a two foot wide square by three foot deep concrete base. If a base plate was used, your post should be anchored to the base plate with two screws on each side of the post roughly four inches up from the base. The third option is spread footing, which consists of a rebar base with a three foot deep and two foot wide hole. Material list. A detailed material list can be found on the product page of metalcarport.com. For our example, we are using a four car, six post port. Post caps. Post caps should be installed to keep debris and pests from entering post. Once all your posts are set, you may trim off the top sections of your post to accommodate for a pitch on your roof panels. Carport and RV port kits are engineered to have a quarter inch over 12 inch slope if needed. Post caps are installed with one screw on each side of your cap that has a side panel. Purlins. Purlins are attached to the outer post with eight screws with no washers. Four screws are used to fasten the purlins to the inner post. The section of purlins are butted end to end. Pre-drilling holes on your purlins will provide easier installation and even screw spacing. Panels. When installing your first panel, always ensure your panel is properly squared to your carport frame. This can be done by measuring the outer edges of your panels in relationship to the adjacent purlin. 
Panels are fastened to the purlins, 18 inches on center. Screws should only be placed on the low seams of the panel. A row of screws, two foot on center, should be placed along the high seams at all panel overlaps. Strap braces. Four strap braces should be attached along the four corners of your carport. Braces are fastened to the underside of your roofing panel and onto the underside of your metal purlin as shown here. Trim. Trim comes in 10 foot long sections. Trim can be easily cut to size. Trim is fastened to the high seams of the panels, 12 inches on center. Sections of trim are simply butted end to end. Trim can easily be overlapped at corners as shown here. To view all the metal carport and RV port options, visit metalcarport.com. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.